have just been fudged around. Oh, it has? It would have been fudged, yeah, I'll come at home this morning with fudged around. I don't remember. Okay, everybody's going to need to come up to the front. You're going to have to move around anyway, so. Come up a little closer. There's not a projector in here, but I really only need it for one thing. So. Oh, whiteboards are or blackboards are so clean before. <laughs> You keep your enemies close. That's what that's what they teach you in teacher school. And to give them jobs. Would you please put these back into this cup? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you can't bend them. We're um Lining them and dancing around and getting them to come over. Um, yeah, a couple people. Well, in a second, I think we'll set them up up here. Okay. 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 So what we did was um, take these two boards out to the mall, and for like two hours, we stood out there and offered NASA stickers in exchange for feedback. And all we wanted was the first word that comes to mind when you see each of these pictures. So people did one, people did all of them, which was great. Um, we didn't really put a requirement on that, but what we did ask for was just one word to describe that. Um, then we came here yesterday and put up the same boards, and I know a lot of you participated too, um, writing down one word, the first word that comes to mind when you see one or all of these images. Uh, now, the first bit of data analysis that I have retrieved is that you guys are terrible listeners. I got so many words, not just one. One small step is not one word, it is a phrase. Thank you very much. So, uh, weeding out those responses, what I did was make a word cloud that shows um, all of the responses and then the ones that were more uh, popular or given more often show up a little bigger. So it's a good visual representation of um, the difference between the general public outside of Space Up and us in here inside of Space Up, which I'm assuming you're all here because you care about space and about science in general, right? So what I wanted to know is, is there a difference in the language that's used 
um, to describe these images um, in here versus out there. And if there is, what's that difference? And what can, what do we need to do something about it? Does it show us something about how the public perceives science? And can we take, um, come up with an action for after this conference? So this is where I'm going to need your help. Um, first, I have this, and just to get everybody warmed up, popcorn style, shout it out. This is a picture of the moon. First word you think of? Todd. <laughs> Keep going. Todd. <laughs> moon. Moon, okay. Yeah, moon. Tide, moon. Lunar. Lunar. Landing. Landing. <laughs> okay, keep going. More words. Exploration. Helium 3. Exploration. Helium 3. Okay. That's two words. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's hyphenated. It's hyphenated. It's, hyphenated. it's a symbol. It's not a phrase. That's all I care about. <laughs> Home. <laughs> Okay, so with that in mind, um, I want everybody to get up out of their seats, and we're going to pop these up here, and I want you to take a couple minutes. Um, if you have a notebook or something you feel like taking notes on, um, I'd like you to come up and look at, you want to flip it around, the results. So, again, I, we didn't do any data analysis, really. This is just a, a free-form discussion to see if we can find a difference and you know what we can do about that difference. So the result, uh, the feedback from you guys has a black background, and the feedback from people outside of Space Up has a white background. So come on up. Get this on. Who, who, who said chicken? It's SDL. They're talking about Chamilla. Hmm. I, I think have we have a few too many people following a certain Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an issue. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good thing. There we go. Thank you, Virgil. <laughs> it takes a while to figure out how to drive this thing. It, it, it does. I'm going to step in front, you guys. I'm sorry. You're fine. <laughs> that says everything. Old mode. Old mode. Old mode. Wait, is that the chip? Yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah. That's that's, wearing, like, that is Space Plumber, by the way. Hmm? That's You're going to show her those results, I right? am, yeah. She's going to make the PPE <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, and um, that's John Mather on the other side. He won a Nobel Prize and is the lead project scientist for James Webb. Did you tell them that? No, no. We didn't tell them. They are not labeled. That computer lab is where uh, Pravon, at Pravon G is in Mumbai, or Puna, I think Science in India. Science <laughs> 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 And I had to put yeah. that on there. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This, is, this is actually actually somewhat like heartening. Um, everything are with the signs of everything. Jerk. What? Uh, the black ones are you guys. Jerk. The white ones are the ones that got big small. Maybe it's a... Yeah. Now looking at it the other way. It's like the second biggest. That is the just pulled it out of my mouth. What's the beating of frizzle? They both fly so fast. No. The vibrator is called. Are you going to make these? Uh, I'm going to pull the laptop down a tiny bit. So, you know, those would make good shirts, too. Yeah. Those would make awesome shirts. 
They will be available after the fun is done. Space. One more. Space. Orbit. The gratuitous truth is a that's, that's an equal or 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 specific. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, yeah. Yeah. satellite and then it's the yeah. Right. We're, we're more likely to have specifics. Cotton. Okay, so some of the things that I think we should list um, before analyzing these any further, what um, what kind of prejudices do you think people on the mall had <laughs> versus, it was just an odd <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what do you I'll think people on the mall um, may have been influenced by versus you guys? I know, for one, I was trying to think about masks. So there may have been an assumption there that, you know, obviously we are from NASA, so that might have gotten them thinking They're already in that direction. They're also by neighboring pictures. Hmm? They're also influenced by the pictures next to the ones that they're looking at. Anything else? Well, the interesting thing that kind of stands out to me is that it seems like the public tended to look at things at a more emotional and personal level. So I would say that they're more uh, responsive to the personal, whereas it seems like the space enthusiasts are, have, have more of a, a technical influence. You say that, though. I mean, look, at, look at the one of the Earth. Except for, except the, for the, that. The public one. went, Earth, and we were fragile and home. And then when you got, like, old nerd scientists, and we were went, brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was interesting, actually. The the Earth one especially really struck me. Like, everybody, I, I there might have probably were eight or nine responses that just said Earth. And then there were probably seven or eight responses that said fragile from this group. And there were m much, many more responses from the mall to that picture, really, than any of the others, I think. And that more than, than you guys in here, too. Because people relate to the Earth probably more than the other stuff um, from the general public. Well, well relate so to it may have to be most familiar with. Out of yeah. all of those pictures, they may not have ever seen a shuttle launch, but for sure they've seen a picture of the Earth, right? That's also the only one that says me. All the others are things, but that one is me. Which one said me? No, I mean the Earth. Is That's why it's more... Um, mm -hmm because people look at it and they say me, or they think well, that, that one's you know, People are I mean, more likely to answer if they think they know what it is. You know, if it's just, it's something, mm. then they're more likely to say, I don't know what I should say. Yeah, so like like the picture of, this is SDO's mm -hmm. satellite, so a lot of you here knew that. So SDO is an answer, and then space and satellite were the biggest ones. Um, specific buzz was mentioned a lot for this one. Um, Specifically, this one, nobody identified this one correctly from um, the public. This is the cosmic background, microwave radiation, science works t-shirt. I can't say that. We recorded it. <laughs> um, it doesn't go out to anyone, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you calling them unimportant? <laughs> okay, so any other differences or... Do we agree with this? I'm surprised or? by the public response to science is. They've written cool and fun, which I would not have expected. Yeah. Especially given that then they, they're shown a picture of a scientist and they wrote old nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, no, but, you know, again, kind of talking about the surroundings kind of coloring things, and yeah. I don't want to necessarily toot my own horn, but we had a relatively younger, cooler, more enthusiastic group of people who are saying, hey, did you want to do something cool and fun and just write down one word? As opposed to a bunch of quote unquote older, nerdier, scientist guys saying we, we were trying to. Well, I guarantee you, get, you get a lot of people's response on them all today. <laughs> well, that and, and, well, sort of, and there were more females, you know, it was like Tim and Ben and then like five or six of us girls. <laughs> no, all of us girls! Right? I mean, so I'm just saying that, you know, we are presenting it 
already as being cool or fun or interesting versus it just being a black and white something on your computer. So well, maybe yeah. we would have gotten a different response if we had had John Mather out there. Possibly. Yeah. Well, a few uh, more lab coats. I was right. Yeah. 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 Has anybody heard of the, um, or the different draw ratio scientist female. experiment? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Right. Have you have you seen the draw a scientist project? Um, the yes, yeah. Uh, elementary students were, as a pretest, they were asked to draw a scientist, and across the board it was a bald white man with a lab coat. And then they were exposed to scientists and science and what the careers are like and all that, and then they were asked to draw a scientist again. And then it was usually like a young female wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Um, so the, the initial perception I think for that is was interesting, and I think it, it, it might change it drastically if we all stood out there with lab coats. Well, uh, uh, the, the office that I work in, we hosted uh, a research academy uh, for, to bring in new prospective scientists to the, sp uh, to the space station, mm -hmm. and a lot of the people that got up there and presented are people that have been working in, in the field for a good 20, 30 years or so. And, they all kind of talked like this and went over their slides. And, and then we had someone from SpaceX get up there and she talked, and she's maybe two, three years out of school, got up there and talked about what they were doing and she had the crowd electrified. So I think who's presenting it and how they're presenting it has a huge influence on how people react. But I don't think we could have gotten nearly as many people to respond to us if we had just stood out there and, and said, we're, you know, we're lab coats and we're old. <laughs> said, will you please come and fill this out? You know, I kind of took that mm -hmm. main handling. Oh, also, um, Tim brought up that it is the people that want to fill out things that you get filling out things, and not everyone. So it's the people that usually participate in stuff like this are the ones that do participate in stuff like this. Selection bias. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so how about uh, going back to the words. Um, do we agree with the, the personal versus technical? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I, I think the general versus specific is, is, is Well, it, 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 it depends. I think it depends on the picture. On, on some of them, I think the public res uh, responded more, more viscerally. Um, and on, on others, uh, it, I guess it, it, it depends on where, where the interest is. Mm -hmm. So, like on the science is mm -hmm. from from the the enthusiast group, you had a much more di uh, diverse, less hom homogeneous response. Whereas you had the very overwhelming, fun and cool response from the public. And then uh, on uh, the uh, picture where you're uh, talking about. Uh, the uh, uh, the Bernal the Bernal sphere habitat. Uh, you have the people from our group saying awesome future. And I like somebody said future, and then somebody said retro and past also. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas we threw that in there to confuse everyone. This is what right. we should have right now. Mm -hmm. And then from the public, by and large, you have people just say space. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? Um, Dave, you had mentioned that you don't agree. Well, I mean, I, I, there, there, are, there are a few items on here where you have, you know, very obvious, you know, the, the more emotional is actually on the space up crowd. Uh, for example, a picture of the Earth. Um, there's, um, <clears throat> then there's also the problem of this being a, a sort of self-selected group in that we're all very familiar with SDO and um, you know there, there's a few things on here where it's very much um, it, it's, it's it, we are very much an in-group right. that are tweeting to each other and technical answer we tend to <laughs> where there isn't you know then it's not then so it's maybe not if, that clear if this were a more humanities based science interested group we would have gotten fewer answers like SDO yeah. and yeah. Yeah. radiation. But, but also that, you know, in the cases where that was an option, this group got uh, did that, but in the cases where there wasn't really, it wasn't as much, you know, mm. we can focus on the mission, then the split is different. Yes and no, because when you look at the shuttle, I, Dave mentioned that 
one of the biggest words that we as space up threw out was thrust. <laughs> I wonder where that is. No, I wonder how. There's a very definite in-group thing going on here in yeah, that, right. you know. <laughs> but, the, you know, well, the biggest word they threw out was rocket. And they're both kind of literal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I think is that you didn't really have the option of choosing which orbiter that was. I mean, or which mission it was. So maybe that is more vague because it is the shuttle, but we want to tag it like they did SDO. Just a question. Mm -hmm. I heard that when the person goes about their work-a-day life, they're working on the experience of the last 90 days. So uh, is that applicable here that the public's experience in the last 90 days is X, and this group's experience in the last 90 days is something else? I bet we would have gotten much different answers if we'd done this after school had started. Because we had a lot of kids coming up and answering these questions. How many answers did we get right after kids. a shuttle launch? Or How many are shuttle launch event? Or if you get to the Bavarian Do you want to look? <laughs> <laughs> more later, like 20s, 30s? I'm going to have to look. <laughs> we, um, it was about 20 each, I'm going to say. About 20 for each one. And then some were much less, though. It, it was a wide range. Um, if you'll give me a second, I'll find it. So maybe as many outside as inside. Yeah. It, it looked like there were just, it looks like without counting, there's just a little bit fewer from, um, from us. Than from them. Mm -hmm. We were also more aggressive when the, it was presented to the people in the mall. You know, we were actively saying, "Come here, do this," as opposed to this was sort of put up on the wall here, space up. It was pointed to, it was mentioned, but it wasn't an active sort of "Come here, do this." And those stickers were offered for conversation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it will taint anyone I know. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like probably not a whole lot. Maybe maybe three or four more each, though. Because we kind of did have you guys captive, and I yelled in front of. And it was group. up for hours. Yeah, <laughs> versus just just two hours out on the mall. Well, the two things that really stuck out for me, I think, were um, the Earth picture and the scientist picture. Um, I, I think I expected more from these two as well, that they kind of, again, got very specific, like Mood and Hubble and, and Buzz. But still you have these words um, like home versus Earth and fragile. Like everybody here, they, I think there's one, one person said Earth out of this group. That's how they described it. And then everybody, nearly everyone in the public said, said Earth versus using words like beautiful was used once, and wow was used once. But in here, we consistently use words like fragile, want, um, boring, ride, risk, uh, questions, possibilities, things like that, where everybody else outside of this group used very specific words. So I'm... Uh, that really makes me wonder what what's the difference then in the the language that we have to describe things and why. We're we're, we're all passionate about this yeah. stuff, and that passion has driven us to go hunting for things to find out more. So we have this technical lexicon that sits at the back of our mind, and given any even half an excuse, we'll let it out. But whether but whether there isn't really been a specific opportunity, then it's that passion that's come screaming through in a couple of these instead. So that's why, yeah, we all know that's the Earth, so no one's going to write down the Earth. That's the obvious answer. We don't, you know, that, that doesn't add anything. But having the more, it's the, the emotion that, that drives that interest that's come out instead. 
Uh, I think we're all excited about what is yet to come about the future because I mean, all of us, most of us know what already happened, but we're really excited about the possibilities of what's going to happen next. When the general public, their knowledge comes from the fact that the media sees them on what already happened. Mm. So they kind of retrospect when we are like futuristic. I mean, some, the ones that they were able to identify most clearly were sort of the most iconic pictures. So Earth and then astronaut they were able to find. But you can see with the STO picture, that was a little garbled. They weren't sure what it was. With the graph, they weren't sure what it was. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting that we created definitions for these iconic pictures. So everybody knows what they are. But when to get something new, there's not a definition out there for it, so they were a little confused as to what is it exactly and how can I define it in just one word. So. Yeah, I mean, people want to give the most defined answer when they, you know, like when you're in like that kind of public setting at all. They, they want to, you know, you look at the earth, I mean, that's literally, you're asking them what the first thing that comes to mind. Here, people here, I mean, as you said, everybody knows that it's the earth. And, they want, they have a, a passion or interest in it, so they want to express that in, in their words. So is there a way then in um, the outreach that we're doing or the way that we're writing about things or presenting our research or science or ideas, is there a way to, to create this, uh, a bridge, I guess, between the, the disconnect to, to facilitate the creation of passion? Then? Well, you're starting with science is fun and cool. So mm -hmm. that's, uh, yeah, that, I yeah. thought that was really positive, actually. I wasn't expecting. There's hard. We got one yeah. hard. But then fun, cool, infinite, incredible. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty good, yeah. I think, for random people on the street. I would like to mention also that science is cool and it's fun, but then when you get to the people who make science, they say all nerd things. And then, if you look at the graph, which is more like into the science, it gets all people get confused and start to say, true, boring, you know, physics, uh, graph. Uh, <laughs> so maybe this, uh, the image of science is cool, but who's going to do that? Only few people because science is hard. Only people like him, yeah. the, the old nerd scientists. <laughs> Only for but the SDO image. Like in so the cool. same line, I think when they see science, they think about the final product and everything the program yeah. gave us. And, and that's cool, like weapons are awesome, you know, rockets, that's all cool. But when they, they are at, being asked, them, like, do you actually want to be one of them that do, does the hard work? And they're like, no, that's boring. And like, do you want to do the grad? Oh, no, that's high school. Or whatever. I like this and this. Yeah, and so. This actually was very cool with her in the bunny suit. Um, this is our, um, this is at Space Plumber. Um, but then this, this was, picture was taken two or three days ago from my friend's um, radio telescope control thing in India. Like he's there right now, he's sitting there right now. So, you know, to make this, he has to be in there. Um, which is why I threw that up, I think, you know, and most of his data then, you know, initially looks like that. looking like that. So, you know, saying things like like this, you know, are amazing and incredible, you know, but then, like you said, the hard work, you know, who's going to actually sit down and do that? I mean, th is it because it seems impossible, or? I think it's that they don't. No, it's kind of like the example that I use. That you think that it's so beyond you when you're not exposed to what actually goes on, but if you get that exposure, then you know. Mm -hmm. And then also, I, I think that um, with the them relating, people related so much to the picture of the Earth um, that were the public, um, I think that maybe the lesson there is you've got to make it relate to their daily lives somehow, or it just... You know, it seems like it's not as important to them. My correlation to that, just from my standpoint, is that I think sometimes we don't know how to communicate. We always communicate either too high or too low. And that there is the sort of middle that you are, you're not speaking down to anyone to say, look at this beautiful picture of Earth. You know what I mean? That sometimes we look at that and go, look at this fragile ball in the sky. <laughs> and then, you know, that, that might be too highbrow or it might be too, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. 
Well, there's no two. <laughs> but, that was um, very cheesy. You know, but then, but then there is a there is a middle, and it it's okay to say some of these words that they're using without it talking down. To <coughs> And there's, and there's, also, yeah. and there's a way to get beyond, you know, here's this picture that everybody thought looked cool from the CEO, <laughs> yeah. and Thought get across sure, more. Way, yeah. She's available <laughs> on cafepress.com. <laughs> and get across, you know, get across more of the science without getting down to the level of the graph that is probably going to be hard for a lot of people to understand. But there's, there's again, an intermediate level. Okay, so how would you, how would you put that into a... I don't know. I just feel like I I feel like I look at some of these images and it feels oddly enough very NASA TV to me. There's this very technical sort of you know, there's the graph way up here that I don't understand and I'm not going to understand in the next five minutes. And then there's some of this really sort of basic I feel talked down to, kind of like, well, duh, that's Earth, I get it, kind of thing. But that there there is some middle and I think that's where we need to focus to Sort of like the edges you kind of have to throw out. Well, I, th I think Does that people. Make sense? I was gonna say I think people like uh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson and uh, Brian Cox mm -hmm. do a really good job of, of bridging that that gap and, and reaching the middle because they're both very technically well ed well well educated uh, public public speakers and, and and scientists, but they also know how how to how to get to that common ground. And reach out to people. And I'd also say uh, uh, Phil Plate, the bad astronomer. He's he's another really good uh, example of people that can do that. So I think it, it maybe it's maybe it's a matter of finding the people who are good at, at bridging those those communities and, and bridging those gaps and encouraging them and enabling them to, to do what they do. Okay. You shouldn't be afraid to present the graph. But you also shouldn't focus on just the graph. Does that make sense? Yeah. Somebody made that graph. I want to know that person because it looks cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure they could explain something about it that I'll understand and grasp and be able to walk away from. So the next time I see exactly that graph, I'll be able to say, hey, this kind of sort of means this kind of sort of. Okay. Build, build on the cool to get at least a little bit beyond it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like that. Get beyond the cool. I feel like that that really sums up the um, the it's beyond me point. Like there's no way that I could ever do this. So like you can hook with the cool mm -hmm. and use our language, our with our passionate, relatable terms to be the hook that will take people past that into the you know, I never thought I could work on the orbiter stage. Okay, well, um, I'm going to put these slides online. I don't, are we, we're, I think we're over time just a little bit, but. Just a little bit. Okay, well, I, I'm going to put these slides on the wiki, and I think maybe we should continue to do this, maybe get a larger sample size and see what happens. But thank you guys, I appreciate you coming. We don't have prizes, but you know. <laughs> You can go to cafepress.com. <laughs> 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 Well, the question occurs to me more or less the same good night.